Hello Virgo, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 14th through the 21st, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Um, I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing and sending up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading with me, um, just email me and we can set something up. Okay. Um, I also <laughs> want to uh, say something else. I want to, um, thank you guys for working with me when I first started, uh, doing these videos, you know, cause I went back and I was listening to myself and then I was reading the comments. A lot of you guys really, um, gave me the courage to be out here talking in front of thousands of people. Maybe hundreds of thousands of people, you know? And I really appreciate you guys for that. I just wanted to say that before we start this. All right, so Virgo. Let's get this show on the road. What's going on for Virgo, Virgo, Virgo? What's going on for Virgo? 8, 14 through 21st, 2017. What's going on for Virgo, 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 Virgo? Love reading. 8, 14 through 21st. 2017 love reading all right so somebody is making wise decisions let's see what these wise decisions are Ooh. so they're they're making wise decisions to be angry or wise decisions about an angry person let's see what's going on here Virgo mm. Okay, so now I'm looking at this. So somebody's making a wise decision to be angry at somebody that doesn't love them. Okay. Yeah, that's a wise decision. Because if you start getting mad at the things they're doing with them, they won't be able to use you. Because what other reason would somebody that don't love you be with you anymore? Apparently some kind of... Um, got to be some kind of game. At least that's what I think. Oh, third party. So you're angry about this third party as well. Hmm. Okay, I see another story here that it was wise for you to get a third party because somebody is very angry and they don't love you that'd be a great reason to get a third party or just leave for a third party oh so some of you are dealing with your ex so you're going back to deal with your ex virgo because the person you with don't love you and they're a very angry person mm, and you're thinking about leaving them like, you don't like them because they're nasty. They're a negative person. They mean they don't love you. They just in your face and you're back with your ex. And they're arrogant. They feel like they own you. Okay? All right. So, this is a great idea. Going back to your ex is going to be good for you. First time I can say that today. All right. What's going on with the Virgo? Virgo. 8, 14 through 21. Ooh. So somebody's been working hard, but they're not waiting anymore. So maybe you was working hard to change this relationship to make it from negative to positive or make this person more a positive person and it just wouldn't work. So you're like, man, F this, I'm going home. All right. Virgo, 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 8, 21, 8, 14 through 21, love reading. What's going on? What's going on? 8, 14 through 21. This could also be done to you guys. You know, it's a general read and it can go either way. 8, 14 through 21. 2017. Yeah, somebody don't think somebody is fighting not enough, hard, hard enough for them, doing enough. Hmm. Well, we know that. And we definitely know it's a celebration. Mm-mm. Yeah. 
So we got a love offer turned down in the past. So I feel like you might have turned your ex down in the past, but now you're like, okay, I'm out of here. I'm going back. That's just what I'm feeling. All right, so yeah, you going back to your ex to get some kind of balance, some stability, some give and take, other than like you mad at me for no reason. I'm going to give you a reason to be mad. You know, everything was done for a reason in the relationship before, but at this one, you just pissed off all the time for nothing, or this is what you're saying to the person. All right, let me read these straight out the book. Wow, how about that? All right, sorry guys. Oh, I hate when I do that. All right, so we have the Three of Cups. So the Three Cups says, um, a problem has been solved and it is now time to celebrate. Enjoy the moment. Favorable outcome is predicted. Yeah, definitely. I see that. All right. So the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups reverse. Knight of Cups reverse. All right. Facade, fake smoke, and mirrors distraction. A card of notification, letter, letter of proposal. It's not coming out today. <laughs> Employment or invention. So, yeah, whatever, whatever it is, is being turned down. So I'm feeling like this is once you left. If you haven't already left, somebody gonna the the angry person gonna come back trying to talk to you like, no, nah, that that ain't happening. All right, so we have the six of coins. And that says, um, you may receive unexpected money, a time of economic gain approaches. If your hand is out to give, your hand is out to receive. This basically the the relationship, the give and take in a relationship is, is there. All right, the Hierophant says, um... A search for meaning and truth. A time of self-discovery, morality, <laughs> sometimes feelings of being overwhelmed, deep ties to others occur, conservative ideas. Okay. So, I don't know. This makes me feel like you um thinking about marrying your ex after all this. You didn't uh, thought the grass was greener. You went on the other side and it was like bird poop everywhere. So you decided to go back and now you're like, damn, it's, it's pretty good over here. I'm like, hey, let's get married. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a person reading. Check in the description box below. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful week.